All right, so this is a video just to show a little bit about <clears throat> the Raspberry Pi. This specifically is the Raspberry Pi 2 and how to use the Kennekit uh, breadboard with, with the circuitry and how to do something useful with it. There's a, a few videos on the internet, but none of them are were to my satisfaction. The only one that I actually enjoyed uh, ended up being incorrect, so I'm, uh, I'm doing my own video right now. So there are a couple things here. Uh, the first thing is basically uh, you have the interface that goes into the GPIO uh, connector on the Raspberry Pi. And then if you got the connect, uh, the Kenna kit, you got this GPIO um, interface over here that basically only fits one way into the bread uh, and the breadboard. And then it's just a matter of you connecting to the power source on this side at the three volt side or at the five volt side and uh and the numbering here uh on the interface uh can be translated <clears throat> with the card that comes from Kinekit. Uh, and these numbers you basically <clears throat> excuse me you basically write code um let me see if i can show here you basically write your code, Python in this uh, example, where you can see there pin 15 is basically on the card right here is the code 15 for GPIO 22. And if you look at my, my connection here, I am connected to GPIO 22 nine the the line goes all the way across to 22 and basically the leds uh, let me get an led here quick tutorial on the leds that come with the connect uh if you look at them uh, let me get a good angle here you will actually see that one of the sides is shaved off that shaved off side is actually the negative side and it is actually the side that has the shorter uh, wire at the end. They have specific names. I'm not an electrical engineer. Uh, I'm just really a hacker, uh, kind of doing things my way, searching things on the internet. So bear with me. It is not, this video is not meant to make you uh, an expert. It's just to allow you to have a little fun with the Raspberry Pi. So the short end of the stick, of the wire here is the negative side and you just go in and you uh, because of the current you're supposed to put a resistor on the negative side before it hits the LED and that's what I did here with my uh, my red guy let me take it out and you can see on the shaved side uh, on the shaved side of the LED I took a resistor wired it around it so now i plug in this to the negative current coming from from the board and it connects it all the way to gpio 22. Uh, let me see if you guys can see this so gpio 22 and then i connect to to the blue right beside the blue line which is that's where the neck the negative current is coming from um, and then I have the code and let me run this code a little bit. So when I run it, it says pin 15, which is GPIO 22 is going high, basically meaning it should be on. So here we go. Now it's on. The current comes from the negative and on the blue, on the, on the side of the blue line here, goes through the resistor, go through the LED. And uh, it completes the, the interface, the GPIO interface, allows that circuit to close, which allows it for the light to be on. So when I hit, let me see if, we can, if you guys can see here. If I hit enter again, now the light is off. Uh, and this is how you control the LEDs on the, on the GPIO uh, card 
on the GPIO board, on the bread breadboard. And I have this continuous circuit here built using the breadboard. Uh, I mean, for the sake of information, the way it works here, again, current goes through negative to positive. So it's going from, the resistor is going from on the blue side, going all the way in into the shaved side of the light, which goes down to the to the positive side, and that completes the circuit. This uh, this uh, wire here, I forgot what they're called, but the the wire here basically takes my positive uh, end of the LED all the way to the positive end of the circuit. Uh, let's see if you can see it a little better here. Uh, note that um, the negative side is on the on twenty eight on the twenty eight square right here. And the, the negative side is, and the positive side is on 29. I hope you can see that. Um, so that's basically a quick intro on how to wire, a simple wire. There are ways, you can do other things with your resistor, but this is basically the easiest way. Just uh, um, get your resistor on the shaved shorter side of the LED so you can just plug in directly into the board and then you can start coding and it should just work. I hope this is helpful to at least one of you guys out there.